First we'll show you how to insert a Mac 4 laryngoscope blade into the laryngo sheath. First, separate the plastic with your thumbs to allow for easy insertion of the tip. Press down with pressure. The laryngo sheath will stretch some. This is intended to hold the blade in place. Then bring the flap of the laryngo sheath over the blade base and press down until it rests within the U-shaped connector. Next, we will demonstrate how to insert a Miller 4 laryngoscope blade into the laryngo sheath. Separate the plastic with your fingers, insert the tip of the blade, and push downward. But be careful the tip of the blade does not press through the bottom of the laryngo sheath. Pull the flap over the top and secure to the blade base. The circles will not line up, and this is okay for this blade. Now we'll demonstrate how to insert a Miller Zero laryngoscope blade into the laryngo sheath. Separate the plastic, insert the blade tip, and press down until it rests in the first blue circle. You'll note that it is secure. Then bring the flap over the top, around the base of the blade, until it rests in the U-shaped connector. Connect your handle to the laryngoscope blade with the sheath still in place. This allows you to check the light and remain covered. To store your blade, simply remove the handle and keep the laryngo sheath in place. If you intend to use your blade right away, remove the flap before attaching your handle. This will allow for quick and easy removal of the laryngo sheath. 